Donna from Boys and Girls Hairstyles. Today I have Noreen with me. Um, gorgeous, classy lady. Um, she literally has always been like that. So I went to school. <laughs> you have, you have. I went to school with her daughter. We're the same age. Um, anyway, and she has just always been like that ever since I can remember. So, but now I'm going to cut her hair. It's so fun. Mm -hmm. So we've been cutting for a while. Um, we are doing an undercut here in the back. Um, we've been having it over her ears, cutting her ears out more. Um, this time we are leaving it. We're going to kind of grow this right here. And um, we are bringing um, probably about a quarter to a half off everywhere. Um, she likes this longer here. We are bringing it up some, but she does like it longer here. But um, the undercut back here is super cute. And so this time she went seven to eight weeks on her cut and it totally lasted. I loved it. She come in and it still looked so darn cute. And my favorite part was she says, I didn't even cut into it. Like I just left it alone. I'm like, dang, good job girl. Cause you know, like I was saying in one of my videos, I, it's just short hair. Once you have it, it's just hard to have long. <laughs> it's way too easy to have short. Okay, so you guys, this is a number three. So you can see I've come up above her ear and kind of angled up a little bit this way to the middle. Yeah, this cut is really cute on her. Really, really cute. Okay, so I'm just holding that hair out of the way just with my hand here. Come in the middle. She, you can tell her hair grows this way. So you always want to double check and go back across, like if they have a calic or if their hair grows a certain way. Um, Cause see, I go up this way, straight up, vertical. But you always want to go horizontal across the other way that their hair grows, just to make sure there's no little hairs in there. So you can see I'm coming this way across so that line's nice and so we get it up there just right. Um, so yeah, so the way you don't get the hair, you know, up any further than you want it, you come, and I always use this as my guide, and I come across this way. Okay, and that's already done. Okay, so up this way. Up. Wow, Noreen, this is going to feel good, mm -hmm. <laughs> this haircut. <laughs> Mine in the back right now is getting so long, and I just, I put my fingers through it, and I'm like, wait, wow, this is really, like, extra long. <laughs> it was such a good cut to begin with, I still wouldn't have to really Oh, good. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you. So that's, um, that's really nice. It does make a difference too. If it's cut right, you can, you know, go longer in between. Um, but she does have perfect hair to do that also. It helps when she has, she almost has, it's not curls. She has a tiny bit of wave when it gets a little bit longer. And it literally is gorgeous. It'll just kind of, I, I don't want to say like flip out, but it just has a bend to it here and there. And it just adds character to the cut, which I love. So you can see I'm just making this really nice and clean, bringing it up to her ear, um, leaving this length because we're going to grow this that way over her ear. Okay, so just want to make sure that's nice and even. Okay, awesome, awesome. Now, and... By the way, don't you guys just love her color? I flip and <laughs> love her color. So when we dry it, you'll be able to see it more. But okay, so we are going um, probably um, closer to a half an inch up here. It just seems it really long. Short. What's that? It can be good and short. Okay, good and short. <laughs> that's I was thinking. Mm, that's long. Okay. The reason why I had Radonna do the undercut is because I have a flat side 
and I could not get the question mark here. Mm. Yes, remember? the question mark. Remember? Yes, we I kept, love we kept, it. I kept trying to figure out why, what can I do with this? I couldn't under tease it. I couldn't make it go, but we cut off the part that went flat and now we make it look like it. Yes, it has the, I'm so glad. Thank you for bringing that up, seriously. Um, that really helps a lot of people because if they do have one side or they have a flat side and they struggle with it, um, and and then you and your hairstylist can also figure out like mm -hmm. what exactly works best for your head because and head shape. So at first um, we left the undercut a little bit lower as far as like down here more, um, mm -hmm. and then after one or two times we're like, eh. She's like, let's go a little higher yeah, on that. Each time was a stare. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a little bit more, a little bit more. And oh my goodness, we found it. So this one has been super, super good. So so if your hairstylist is planning surgery and you're not going to be able to get into her. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. See, look how good she's. She's a good planner. Like I'm going into back surgery. She knows she just needs to cut that baby off and <laughs> let it last. <laughs> Oh, that's darling. Too cute. But yeah, it, it really does make a difference, you guys. Um, the way your head is shaped, the way if there's different... And, and I've teased before in videos about the, the side. Like, oh, the side. Because I swear, every person has the side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it can be, you know, it doesn't grow in as thick or it um, grows slower than the other side. Something like that. But yeah, just those little things that you figure out with your hairstylist, it really makes a difference to take the time with your client and make sure they have what they need for their, their type of hair and their head shape. Okay, so same here. I'm just bringing this straight across. Yeah, I'm really glad you brought that up. Thank you, because that's... That can be really big. Okay, now last time this was a little short here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm still going to cut into this, but I'm barely gonna kind of trim on this side because that that's just a little bit shorter when she styles. So I'm not taking as much off there as I will that other side. Okay, same here, we're taking this off. Um, I'm taking about more of a quarter of an inch, you guys, not a half up through this area. Um, just because the top, it just seemed longer. Um, this, yes, I mean, we obviously needed to take some length off of here, but I just don't feel, I feel like if we took a half of an inch, it would be like too much for her. So especially where we're growing this out around. So take that into consideration. You know, if you're... If your client wants to grow around her ear, I mean, you're obviously not going to be taking as much through that area. Um, and, and that's okay. Like if after, if your client's like, actually, no, go a little bit shorter through that area, then great. But if I was you, I would not take too, too much off um, if you're growing around that ear. <clears throat> okay. Now on this side. So about a quarter of an inch here, you can see, and it just goes up to this, this top layer here. Same thing, about a quarter of an inch here. Yeah, wait till you see when I dry this. Like, she's so flipping lucky with this color. Like, oh, it's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And when I dry it, oh man, <laughs> it just goes into place. Okay. So you can see I'm connecting this with this, but we're leaving that length over her ear. So you don't need as much on that. But about a quarter of an inch down that way, down to the length. Okay, all right, now around this area, we're gonna come in, we're gonna open and shut the shears. You can see how I cut here, and I'm gonna come up a little bit further, cut in there, 
a little bit further cut in there just so there's different lengths there, okay? So they're shorter, longer, shorter, longer. Yeah, and talk about um, pretty makeup too, that she she does her makeup amazing too. Just wait till we get done. She'll just be the finished product. <laughs> it looks so good, so, so good. Okay, so I did that same thing right there through her bang area. I'm gonna come in through this way, take a little bit there and there. Okay, same thing, open and shut the shears. Just take different little sections. Um, and that just gives it movement throughout the front, okay? All right, now, huge deal with, um, in my opinion, <laughs> um, we definitely want to come through here and texturize this. She has a lot of hair. So I'm gonna texturize it first with, um, the shears that have the teeth close together, okay? So I'm taking some of that bulk out a little bit. Um, Noreen's hair could get heavy um, fast, just she has a lot of it. So that's why I take this in throughout her hair, just to give it some, some umph, take some of the weight out of it. And then the other thing that I like to do with hers is take the, the chunkier texturizing shears and come through this area. So you don't want, I mean, the undercut is so flipping cute, but if you have it way, just like the question mark stop right there, then, you know, and some people like a really heavy weight line, which is great. With Noreen's, I like to really texturize this area just so we can piece that out more. Um, and so it kind of flows into that and it, it's more chunky instead of just a really big heavy weight line. And then just up through this top a little bit. And this has worked really good too because my hair is kind of finer. Yes. So if it gets much, if it has length and it falls. That is so, yes, and that is 100,000% true. If you have fine, so yeah, she has a lot of hair. It's kind of like my sister's when I told you guys. She has a lot of hair, but it's more fine. If you have fine um, hair that, and you have a lot of it, you definitely need a lot of texture to help hold that up. Because yes, like she says, if you get any length on that, you're gonna, it's just gonna plop down. So yes, thank you for bringing that up too. That's huge to know, huge to know. Okay, so I'm just combing that hair out after we texturize. Now we're gonna do the mousse. The Kenra mousse, you guys, I loved that. Um, I do the KMS mousse. Um, this one's a new one. I know you have the KMS right now. This is another one They was out, oh, so okay. I tried this, and I really love it. So either one of those two, phenomenal. Okay. All right, so you can see I'm just, I'm making sure that I'm putting this throughout her hair. Like I don't just put it on and go like this, right? People sometimes will say, oh, my hair's not styling or, but it makes a difference. Like if you really work mm -hmm. that mousse into all, especially because Noreen has thick hair, like, and a lot of it, you really want that product throughout her hair. And okay. to kind of make sure that it's around all the hairs. I've even got so that like at home, uh -huh. I don't spray a certain area. I spray it in my hands and then I push it through my hair. Oh, I so love that. I love it. that, love that. So, um, I have, I did on the one video, I'm glad you said that, um, cause I have a lady that likes to do that also. Um, that's when you spray your fingertips and you finish your hair by taking it through, through the hair and kind of piece it out that way.
So you see I have this over the ear and I kind of dry that forward and this kind of back. And then this over. Okay, same here. Just going to dry this over the ear towards her face a little bit. And then the thing that Noreen likes to do, which I'm, I'm getting used to now, but at first, because a lot of people like to cover their forehead and she likes it up more. And I love that with her cut. And that's the thing also with um, certain cuts um, is that texturizing throughout that. Okay, do you want to feel through there, sweetie, and make sure we have it? It feels pretty good. Maybe just a little just bit. Just a little bit through that area. Okay. But we keep this longer because then it hides that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I love it. You know what I call those? The cul de sac. Yep. Okay, so perfect. We will leave. So we're gonna leave this length, you guys, up through here, so that that falls there, but seems a little bit long and heavy through this area. So then you can kind of spike it, so it's not really a part. Yeah. So you just have it up, up mm -hmm. right here. Love that. Make sure that's down, so we don't take that length. Because I've got so much going on back there where the hair grows off to this, from the center out. Yes, right through here. Mm -hmm. Yep, I love it. Yeah, and if that's too too long and too much, that won't last. <laughs> and that side's good because I didn't take as much off of that. Okay, you want to fill that now, sweetie? Make sure that's. It looks like that's gonna work. I know, right? Get that hair yeah. off of it. Yeah. Just um, <clears throat> a little bit shorter, just kind of right through. Okay, that. right. Okay, you guys, so same thing, leaving that bang area. And this is what I'm talking about. This is so much easier to come back through and take this length um, through this area so it's easier for her, but you can stop and you can see where you need that length off. You don't take it off and then go, oh goodness, we should have left some there. Especially where she likes Likes a little bit more in the front, you know, a little bit of length through this area. Mm -hmm. There, yeah, that'll stand up a lot better. Yeah. So cute. Oh, let me get this off of you like this. <laughs> that'll be much better. <laughs> That's what's hard about cutting after it's dry. <laughs> it kind of sticks to your face, I swear. Okay, now, a cool thing with the pace that Noreen had just told me, um, which I really want to start trying, so I just wash my hair every day, style it, whatever. She says a cool thing to do with this product now is she's noticed that second day you can take your, um, and do you want to explain what you do? Four. Yeah, seriously. Just, like yeah. we're all needing that. <laughs> we all need that. So will you tell them what you do? If you just use your hair dryer on the high heat and just blow it all over, it gives that volume that you usually have right after a shampoo. Awesome. But then it's super fast, super easy. Uh -huh. Has a lot more volume, she said, each time. So I'm like, heck yeah, more volume and not have to do it every single day from start to finish. And where you just put a little bit of the hairspray on, I actually just spray it in my palms before. I usually put the hairspray on first, so I just spray it in my palm and then I just go through everything so it's got a little bit of hairspray all over all of it. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Instead and of just, I just instead use, of the surface. Yeah, I just use a little bit and then just go back through just kind of piece where piece I where you need it. Uh huh. So you do this hairspray first. Uh huh. Ah. Okay, I didn't do that. I'm I'm coming back through with that, you guys. But like she said, she took her hairspray, put it in her palms like that, and then she goes through all of it. And then she takes the, the paste and just paste each little piece where she needs it. So that's that's a super great um, tip. So thank you, Maureen. Yeah. I love that. Well, that way you don't get too much spray in just one place. Yeah. And yeah. it kind of coats everything, kind of gives everything that little bit of extra 
strength yes. that it needs. And especially, well, and especially with yours where you don't back comb it, like mm -hmm. it's short enough that you can just put your fingers through it and stuff. That's a great idea because it's a mistake. Is that enough up off your forehead? It is. Okay, sweet. Isn't that cute up off her forehead? Like, I love that. I'm like, I need to start doing something fun like that. But anyway, I love, love her style. <laughs> and when she left last time, I'm like, we need a video tape. <laughs> so I asked her, so she was awesome. And you gave us tons thank of good you. tips. So thank, thank you. you. Those are really good for everyone. Um, hope you enjoyed the haircut. I know I did. I love it every time. Um, and I'm just gonna turn her around one more time. And you can see that this is just pieced out. Super cute. Fun I used messy. to blame my gray hair on my children. Now I give them credit for it. Yeah, exactly. You're like, thank you so much. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> okay, you guys, thank you so, so much. I enjoyed just hanging out and hopefully you did. And we will chat next time. Thank you. See ya.